All right, we live. All right, Shalom. This is GMS Louisiana Saints with another live camp. But before we do anything, we're going to give all praise, this glory, and infinite honor to Yahweh. Double honor to the apostles and elders, the great ones who rule and teach well, and peace and salutations to Yahweh out there, Christians, and those in truth and security to the four corners of the globe. May your brothers endure until the end. And as you all can see, it's another uh, camp under quarantine, so to speak. We're not out there on the block. We're on uh, the stream yard preaching. And that's just uh, even more of an indication that the fame of the word is right around the corner and all hell's about to break loose because this devil understands what time it is. So as it says in Revelation 12, verse 12, he's about to come down in great wrath. Yeah, Brother, you got it. Uh, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore, rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. And those in, heaven. in the heavens right now are uh, the hopeful elect, the 144,000 and the rest of the righteous one third who have diligently been spending this time of liberty to uh, get back into the graces of their power, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh so they can make their calling and election sure. Hey, do you sincere, Akim, out there? All this stuff going on, these uh, talks of uh, pandemics, martial law, the fame of the word should be getting you excited because we know what the end game is. The return of Yahweh Shai, Esau Edom getting put down and the coming in of the kingdom of heaven, which is going to be for eternity. God. Yeah, it says rejoice. God. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. Hey, the you, you two-thirds out there, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who still seeing all these signs and seeing these scourges of amendment sent are not taking heed to it, but despise it. This is going to, Jacob's trouble is really going to be for you for the most high to really utilize that sword on you, to punish you for not only talking shit to the men of the Lord, but disregarding Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and hearkening unto the heathens and making a covenant. Hey, as big gets more desperate out here and they're talking about that stimulus package, sending thousands of dollars to people, don't be surprised when people line up and take it and uh, they say, look, you got to get a tip first or you got to get a vaccination with a tip in it to get that money. Don't be surprised when these two-thirds do it after going without food, going without the internet, and going without being able to commit adultery at these clubs. You two-thirds are carnal and weak, and you're going to get everything that's coming your way. John. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Again, Esau Edom knows what time it is, especially these elites, such as these Rothschilds, these Rockefellers, these Gettys, these DuPonts. They understand the scriptures and know that whenever the, the prophets of the Most High are out there preaching this word and the Israelites are waking up, that whatever kingdom's ruling at the time is going to come to an end. And they also understand that they are the biblical Edomites and know what the end of Esau Edom is. That thousand years of hardcore bondage and slavery before they're uh, purging from this planet. So you're about to see this devil go twice as hard as he's ever gone to try to hold on to his power and bring about that new world order. As the brother Kaya always likes to say, what's the most dangerous animal? One who has its back against the corner because it's got nowhere to go but forward and fight for its life. Yeah, and we know Esau is a beast. So there you go. Khan, but if somebody yeah. could get me that Luke 19 and start at verse 41, just to show that you Jake's got nothing good coming your way. The more you can keep under these heathens, the more he's going to go hard on you by a as we'll read, cast in a trench or locking you in on your neighborhoods and turning it into a kill zone, putting you, your women, and your children to death. Luke 19 and 41. It says, and when he was oh, when he and when he was come near, he beheld the city and wept over it. Saying, saying, if thou hasn't known even thou, at least in this day, in, in this thy day, the things which belong unto thy people, but now are hid from thine eyes. Keep going. It says, for the day shall come upon thee that thine enemy shall cast a trench about thee and compares, and compares thee round of Compass thee around and keep thee in every in on every side. Hey, and we know as it says in Romans 15, everything written aforetime was written for our learning. 
Just go back and look up 70 AD to see how Esau Edom is going to get down on you, Jakes, when he comes down in great wrath. That casting that trench is cutting off all your ways of getting out of where you live. And it's no coincidence that by every place where Jake lives, there's train tracks. And if you've also noticed, they've been doing a lot of construction work to make the roads more tight in sections. But when they do pass that trench about you, you saw Edom's going to put in these roadblocks. And you expect to see these National Guard troops and uh, Army Reservists coming to you. But hey, the Most High is going to send um, those NATO and FEMA troops and mercenaries to really put that work to you and give extra less of a care about you American citizens. So they're going to cast you in, put you to death. And those that remain, they're going to put you onto those trains and send you to those FEMA camps where either you're going to take the chip or not, and you're going to be put to death in a grievous, torturous way. Right. I put this up on a. I put this up on a screen. You, you brother, then go go look this up. <clears throat> this is from a very. I always use this since I came in the troop. Very accredited uh, website with good information on it always. It's called globalresearch.ca. And uh, this is one of the articles that was on that going back years ago. It's called Battlefield America is the New Norm. And it, it goes into legislation how they made America the battlefield and you Americans being the enemy. All right. And we already. We already we've been told you years ago that you you are well you brothers you better take over man this damn thing tripping kind hey for the longest time the elites knew that uh, America was finished and that there was going to be a great economic collapse and insurrection in the country so looking at you like the goyim you are they've started militarizing police forces and training them for uh, domestic activities to come come at heads with you uh not only you jakes but you other Americans as well when you get unruly and unresty. And uh, it says at the top right there, it says if we're training cops as soldiers, giving them equipment like soldiers, dressing them up as soldiers, when are they going to pick up the mentality of soldiers? Hey, you've already seen that in places like uh, Ferguson, for example, with those uh, riots over that Jake that got killed. You had uh, Jake's rousing up, but you had milita militarized police coming with uh, grenade launchers, machine guns, and uh, MREPs, and if you look further into it, a lot of these cops actually go over to the state of Israel and get trained by the IDF, which is the Israeli Defense Force, in, a, in domestic matters on how to keep your population under control, like what they do to those uh, Palestinian Ishmaelites over there. So there's nothing good coming to you, Jakes. There's nothing good coming to you, Americans, period, but we're only focusing on you, Jakes, because you're the only ones that have a chance at salvation. And if you notice, anytime you see those troops training, the target's always Jake. It'll be Jake with dreadlocks. It'll be Jake with a with a ski mask on. It's always the image of a so-called Negro. They're training specifically to kill Jake, man. Mm-hmm. And it's a well-known fact that a lot of these uh, Edomite militia groups, when they go out and train in the woods, they have targets of uh, so-called Jakes up there that they're shooting yeah. at. Yeah. Every time you see a video, it's always Jake. Sometimes it'll, there was one video during the, um, I don't know if your brothers remember that Jade, uh, what was it, Jade Helm, the thing in Dallas, it was Jade mm -hmm. Helm or something like that, and they were, they right. were running drills, and they would have so-called Negroes, like, grabbing white women, man. That's some, that's some like, propaganda <laughs> from early 20th century, but they're bringing it back. That stirs up Esau, man. Mm-hmm. John, uh, Aria, could you uh, finish out verse 44? Yes, sir. And it says, and and thy children within within thee, and die shall not. Huh? You, you you skipped a part. Oh oh, to lock it. Uh, Forty four. It said, and shall lay thee even with the ground, and thy children within thee. What's that? What that's talking about is that. Once these troops really start to get into work on you, Jake's in your neighborhoods, they're going to do it without mercy. They're going to put you and your children down, whether you're holding your babies in your arms or whether you're a pregnant woman. This devil's coming down in great wrath, that merciless wrath that he's always had towards you, Jake's, ever since we got the blessing and the birthright to the kingdom of heaven from him, which 
as a lot of brothers have been saying, this is what this all goes back to. Esau trying to get his blessing and his birthright back. These elites think that if they can kill off all the Israelites, that uh, somehow the Most High is going to be like, look, hey, there are no more uh, Israelites left. Just like Cain thought if he killed Abel, he would have got uh, in a good case with the Most High. And they think that if they get rid of you, Jakes, the Most High is just going to turn a blind eye and give uh, him back the blessing in the kingdom. But that's not how it's going to happen. It was already set up in the spirit for Jake to get it, as well as it was set up for you Edomites to be put down and taken out of rulership. Sure. Finish it out, up. All right. It says, and it says, and he went into the. You want you want forty five? I know. Just finish out forty four. Okay. It says, it shall not leave in the one stone upon another. Come. Yeah. It says, uh, and thy children within thee. And they shall not leave in thee one stone upon another, because thou knowest not the time of thy visitation. And where it says they shall not leave one stone upon another, it means they're going to search everything. You Jakes may think you have the perfect hiding spot for when these uh, Edomites roll on you, but hey, they're not going to leave one stone upon another. They're going to find you. They're going to find your guns. They're going to find uh, your food stores, and they're especially going to find your loved ones your pretty wife and your pretty daughter, and in most cases, your, your son too. And they're gonna go to work with you. And as it says, because they knew it's not the time of thy visitation, because when that time of liberty was open to them to get this word and come back to repentance, they despised it and cast it behind them. So that's why the Most High is about to drop that hammer to you because you could see the men of the Lord preaching you the signs of the times, but what did you decide to do? Uh, talk shit and scoff and try to get the men of the Lord in a bad case. But if uh, somebody could jump to second Ezra 16 and started at uh, 69. I got you something to me. Come on, come on. You can bring yours out real quick, Kaya. All right, come on. This, uh, it's a lock -in. No, that just was long. Give me one second, bro. God. All right, yeah, this uh Jeremiah 2 and uh 19. It says, Thine own wickedness shall correct thee, and thy backsliding shall reprove thee. Mm -hmm. Know therefore and see that it is an evil thing and bitter that thou hast forsaken Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shot thy power. And that my fear is not in thee, said Yahweh, our power of hosts. Hey, point blank, period. The most has chastised you because you, you threw him behind your back like a, a side chick. He, he, hey, as it says in Esdras, what Jake got, we deserve worse than what we got because you got to really contemplate what it means to be an Israelite. It means that if we simply uh, stayed faithful to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh and followed these laws, statutes, and commands to the best of our ability, we would have never went down. But hey, Jake's hard-headed and stiff-necked, so Jake thinks, oh, I can I can find little gray zones here, or oh, I, I kind of like what those heathens are doing over there, so it wouldn't be too bad if I did this, that, or the other. But hey, the Most High is about to recompense you for forsaking him, and we, we don't, we're not going to feel an ounce of pity for you for it, because... When you, when you truly are sincere coming into this truth and see that the tender mercies of the Most High, you start to fear the Most High that much more, especially mm -hmm. when you uh, bug outs in this truth who once had the word but took their hand off the plow steadily get worse and worse. And that's just on this side. We haven't seen nothing yet. I got that for you, too, in that joke. Uh, okay. And we'll just take an address right now. 16 huh? and 69. Huh? Yeah, I got second address for you. Con, con. Just started 69. The second address, 16 and 69. And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and reproach and tried on the foot. And what does that word consent mean? To agree upon making a making a, a treaty with the heathens, which is against the law, as it says in Exodus 23. And also in Isaiah 31, it says, woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. And we know that uh, the spiritual Egypt today is America. And um, 
you do have some brothers saying that they've got people that they knew in the world calling them saying, hey, everything you said was coming to truth, trying to get in a good pace. But for the majority of you, Jakes, you're just going to head up for a beeline towards that Egypt, that spiritual Egypt and Pharaoh, the United States and Donald Trump, especially once they get more of this stimulus package where Jake's going to get a thousand dollars every week passed because you're carnal minded and you have no faith. You don't think that the most high is going to be able to keep you in good case with food and clothing on your back. So that's why you're going to be had in derision when uh, you fully go on to this uh, Edomite system, and especially when you take that microchip implant. Keep reading that. For there, for there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Hey, back in Luke chapter 19, they shall cast a trench about thee. That's that great insurrection coming where they're going to lock you in and start uh, putting that work to you. Because even though ultimately those that fear the Lord right now are the elect, the Israelites still have some sense of fearing uh, a, a greater power. As it says, they are, they're, they're, uh, what, they're righteous, but how does it go? I, I'm roughly paraphrasing it. But the Romans 10. They wise to do evil. evil. They have the, a zeal for the most high, but not according to knowledge. Uh, they have a zeal for the most high, but not according to knowledge. Jake might find a $20 bill on the ground and say, oh, praise Jesus or God, showing that they believe in a higher power, but they still don't truly understand what they're praising to. And the most high doesn't take that lightly. If the most high is going to put Jake to death for eating pork, how much pork, not knowing his name, or giving that glory to him? Go to verse one. They should be. Which one you want? Uh, verse 71. Yeah. They should be like madmen, sparing men, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. That devil coming down in great wrath. Keep going. Well, they shall waste and take away the good and cast them out of their houses. Hey, when it goes back to also in Second Ezra 15, and a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor and then break into his house with the force of the sword because of lack of bread, spoiling his goods. Not only are these troops going to do that, but these lower level Edomites are going to do it as well. They're both going to come to your neighborhoods. They're going to break into your houses and again, take your goods and take your loved ones. And uh, if you're lucky, put you to death before they have their way with them. That's how serious the times we were, we in, were in are. But uh, you Jakes are just going to continue to refuse to take heed until it's too late. <laughs> Go to verse. Oh, come. You know, Jake is the ultimate procrastinator, man. Jake gonna wait too. They see the tanks in the street, and then they're gonna try to get on YouTube and try to post videos up. By then, it's too late. The troops are already knocking on your door, ready to come drag you out the house and take your ass off to the camp. Mm -hmm. you know, so Jake just gonna wait to the last minute every time. Hey, as our elder, ya uh, elder brother Yakin always says, Jake's late to his own funeral. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what is in Isaiah 55? Seek the Lord while he may be found. There's going to come a point where he's not going to be found on the streets, not going to be found on YouTube. He's not going to, that family member that you know that's an Israelite that was trying to help you, he's going to be ghost, man. Abaratazah, the Lord's going to be with his men. He's going to take, he's going to completely remove his word from the two thirds, man. They're just going to be out there. Con, con. Uh, I got this up, man. Khan, uh, Samakia, just read a uh, verse uh, 73 to 73. 74. You got your precept, Kaya. Okay. okay. Then shall it be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. Hey, as uh, the brother Amawad just said, Aparatazah, the Most High is with his men. In that day, you're going to know who the chosen of the Most High are because all hell's going to be breaking loose around us. There's going to be fire at our right hand and water at our left. 10,000 bodies on the one hand and 1,000 on the other. But we're just going to walk through it. We're going to do like James Brown and Camel Walk through all that destruction. Having, having clothing on our back, having foods in our belly, and just Yahweh will burn until that very end. But as for you two-thirds, you're going to be put to death, as it says in Zechariah 13, that, that first part shall go through the fire, but two-thirds shall be cut off. 74, hear, O ye, my beloved, says the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. 
Hey, and you got to take those words to heart that the Most High is telling you that I will deliver you through the same. You're not supposed to be leaning on your own understanding or getting carnal minded once this uh, calamity really starts coming your way. That's when that spiritual mode is supposed to kick in 144 percent because just hey, again, in Romans 15, everything written a four time was written for our learning. Look at all the past examples of the men of the Lord being put in death, death. Uh, situations where they had seemed to have no escape and would be put to death, but they made it through, like Daniel in the lion's den, or uh, the the three uh, Daniel three companions who got cast in the the furnace by Nebuchadnezzar. They had that faith in the very end, and look, they got delivered from those situations. And you got to be the same way because those same men are still walking around today, and the Most High could very well put them in a similar situation. Now you actually you actually have to have more faith than that, man. All right, because th at those times, all right, you know, it's not it it wasn't at these end times, man. The heaven wasn't brass to the to the men, man. So is a is a we're in deeper, we're like to say deeper mire than it is then, you know, back in those times. That's why it says wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that time, which also creates the faith and the hope. All right. That builds the faith in the hope, man. <clears throat> the wisdom and knowledge. Excuse me, Salaki. Um, Shall I add more? Oh, no, that was it. You had your precept? Yeah, this Job 11 and 18. It says, and thou shall be secure. And who will be secure? Because there is hope. Yea, thou shall dig about thee, and thou shall take thy rest in safety. Also, thou shalt lay, lie down, and none shall make thee afraid. Yea, many shall make suit unto thee. It says, but the eyes of the wicked shall fail, and they shall not escape. And their hope shall be as the giving up of the ghost. Con, you can break it down. I'm looking for something. Right. It says, and their hope shall be as the giving up of the ghost because they didn't prepare their heart or stretched out their hands towards him that could be their savior, man. All right. Those are they that compromise their hope and their faith. All right. By what? Doing the things which is pleasing unto men, learning the precepts of men. All right. And just pretty much walking in their own will and their own ways, man. All right. Not considering their latter end. Because a lot of men today, as they're doing now, as fear has come in upon the earth, a lot of men are starting to consider their latter end, but they didn't lay up gold for themselves, all right, or a tabernacle of, of, of protection so they could be covered from the tempest that's to come, man. And the scriptures tell you, tell, tell you that when you plant yourself in the Lord, you shall be, he shall be a cover from the tempest that's to come to pass, man, which is, you know, going into the wind and the destructions, the plagues and the pestilence, man, so forth and so on. What you gotta do, bro. Tom, they didn't, they didn't store up their treasures in heaven. They right. stored up their treasures on earth that are gonna be eaten through, moth eaten. Yeah. Moth eaten, hey, that's right. Corrupt. But hey, the as, as you just read in that verse, the ones that have hope are the men that have been sighing and crying, as it says in Ezekiel 9 and 4, that are gonna get that mark of tav or mark of exemption once these death angels really start going to work. Hey, I got two, I got two precepts real fast. Uh, the first one is Joel 18, 14. He says, his confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle, and he shall bring him to the king of terrors, man. And all these, these people that uh that don't have no hope and, and they really never you know cash in all their chips to the most high and his son Yahweh. You you just gonna be brought to the king of terrors, man, where the Lord had his way with you, man. You know, like Ella Gabar said, how are you gonna get that wapo zappo, man? Mm-hmm. All right, and the other one I got is uh, let me go up a little bit. All right, this is Job eight and thirteen. It says, "So are the pads of all that forgot the Most High, and the hypocrites' hope shall perish, which hope shall be cut off, and whose trust shall be, who trust shall be a spotless well. He shall lean upon his house, but it shall not stand." <laughs> He shall hold it fast, but it should not endure. It means that you're finished. That if you're not if you're not putting your faith in Yahweh by Shimei nothing's gonna get you through this situation. No matter how many uh 
boys you got, no matter how many guns you got, no matter how many food preps you got, money in the bank, et cetera, et cetera. Got, got a quick free to back up the elder and what the brother just said earlier, man. This uh, Proverbs 11 and 23, the desire of the righteous is only good, but the expectation of the wicked is wrath. Mm -hmm. And the, the expectation, that's, that's what the word hope means, man. These people that haven't stored up their treasures in heaven, they can hope in destruction, man. They don't hope. If you if you spent your life trying to be somebody in America and trying to get a 401k and beat a man here, you can clearly see America's going to be destroyed. So what is your hope? Your hope right. is wrath, man. You can expect wrath. A death and destruction. Yeah. But the expectation of, of the of the righteous is hope, meaning we put all our faith in you. So we know that if we even if it's our lot to be a martyr in this truth, if we endure until the very end, we're going to receive that crown of life. Yeah, we still win, man. We still win, no matter how you want to put it. We're going to get the same the same outcome as the seven sons of Maccabees. We're going to still win. We're going to still get the kingdom. Because I, I always say this old statement about these people that put their hope and trust in this place, man. You're climbing a burning ladder, man. The, the, um, the, burn, the ladder's on fire and the building's on fire. The building being American. Right, you can't you can't hurt my feelings. And I already know what's what's the deal. You know, I already know this place is gonna collapse, it's gonna fall. But everybody that's not don't have no understanding of that, don't know, you're gonna be devastated the most, man, because you put your money, you put one bad, you put your hope in FRN notes, you put your hope in fire uh follow one C threes, you put your hope in uh mm -hmm. ROAs, all right, W two forms, and you name it, okay. So when this shit bellies up, which is which you can see, you know, this 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 is a tall order for this bitch to come bounce back from this shit, man. All right. You know, uh, this state that we live in, Louisiana, mainly New Orleans, they already talking about a quote unquote uh, recession or depression. All right, because they, they ain't making the money. All right. They ain't making the money, man. And we've been told, we've been told you, you knucklehead niggas out there, man. You don't wanna, you don't wanna scoff and don't want to come back to the most high. This place is up for foreclosure, man. Mm. All right? This place is up for foreclosure. And you're seeing, you're seeing right now as you speak, you're seeing if anything goes up for foreclosure, what they do? They put a lock on the door. They put, uh, they board it up with uh, uh, boards and shit, nails and boards. And they put the for sale sign. So that's what you're seeing happening right before your eyes, man. All right? Hey. You got it out. Yeah, we hey. I got you. I got you free, too. Con, could somebody... After you get yours, could somebody get me Isaiah 59 and 19 and somebody get me Isaiah 31 start at one? But if I could say real quick, as the elder brother just said, when you look at this place, there's no way it's going to bounce back. As it says in Malachi uh, 1 verse 4, they say we will rebuild the desolate places. And though we know that's mainly talking about the Renaissance, that can also talk about today with this whole Make America Great Again campaign by Donald Trump. But what did the Most High say? They shall build, but I will throw down. There's no healing Babylon. I got the Isaiah 59. Uh, Con. Con, Isaiah. 59, 19. Yeah, I was holding that one. Oh, it's Con. Con. It's just to add to the elder real quick, this Sirach 23 and 5, because he mentioned that we did several videos on the foreclosure of America. All right, the stores where we bring it out at, pretty much they've been empty. All right, for a while, like this ain't like this just happening. All right, just leading up into the this this uh this catastrophe that has taken over the earth, man. We've been telling you about the family dollars closing, the stores closing years ago. We've been warning you people, man, and forming the, the unwise, man. But did they take heed? No, man. All right, but this is on Sirach 23 and 5. It says, Turn away from me, vain hopes, and cook concupiscence, all right? And we know concupiscence to be what? Lust, desires, the passions thereof, because many have watched for a nation that can't save them, all right? Going into lamentation, want to say something out? Oh, mm -hmm. no, no, you got it. You finish your right. point? Uh, no, uh, I thought I'm a while I wanted to say something, I saw on point. No, you got it, right? you good. All right, so, because uh, a lot yeah. of our people trust in Egypt, which the brother's going to bring out in the scriptures after this, Right, they have trusted in the people and the vain people that what can't save them, man. All uh -huh. right, okay. But it says, "Turn away from me, vain hopes and con concupiscence, and thou shalt hold him up that is desirous always to serve thee, man." Okay, hey. yeah. And hey, hold him up. 
those that sign cry for the abominations thereof that didn't make that allegiance with the heathens. So again, they're going to get that mark of tab or that mark of exemption from judgment. Hey, as a Yahweh Shai told Peter, hey, those that forsake mother, brother, father, sister, lands, and everything for my sake will receive a hundredfold in the kingdom. But those that'll that'll find their life shall lose it. Meaning, hey, you get carnal minded at the last second and think, oh, I can, I can hold on. I can just hold on and maybe this gun will save me, but that's only going to lead to a worse end for you. But those that will lose their life for my sake shall, shall find it. Meaning if you put all your trust in Yahweh by Hashim Yahweh Shai, you're in a win-win situation. You're going to make it and receive that crown of life. Again, even if you have to be a martyr in this truth. Yeah. The scriptures uh, tell you there's, there'll be some standing here that shall not taste the death. So you got brothers that you know, you got to prepare for the worst, really got to hope for the worst, too, the, the worst for this society, and also pray for the best, man, which is salvation. It tells you in Romans 8 that death can't even separate us from the love of Yahweh, which is in Yahweh Shai. So we prepare to live and die for this, man. So you got to be prepared for the, the Lord can deliver your whole family or he could put, put your family to death, deliver you, and then bring your family back. You don't know how the, the Lord's movie is going to play out. So you got to be prepared for anything he throws at you, man. Con, con. But uh, could somebody give me that Isaiah 59 and 19? I got it. Right. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 59, verse 19. So shall they fear the name of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai from the West. And hey. Glory. Oh. hey, that goes to show to fear the name, you got to know the name. So point blank, period. And that's a different topic in itself. But there's so many scriptures cutting you other Jakes out there that say the name's not important. And where it says they shall fear his name from the West. Where the majority of the Amer uh, the Israelites in the, the the Western Hemisphere in the America, also the North Country, all twelve tribes, by the way, not just Judah. All right, the Northern Kingdom didn't flee into Africa. That's another doctrine that's being put to shame right now. But um, and yeah. even though that was the name of the street the original school was on, on another level, that's very spiritual. That mm. the, the original camp that every all these other camps came from was called One West. That land of the West, where they began to fear the name of Yahweh again. Okay. So shall they fear the name of Yahweh? Kind of like the back of What's, What's going Oso on? Lucky. Oh. oh, you said he had a no, preset. I said I had a preset the back of your brother. Okay. So shall they fear the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai from the West and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood. The spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai shall lift up a standard against him. Hey, when it says the enemy shall come in like a flood, cast in that trench, the spirit of Yahweh shall cast up a standard against him, meaning that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is going to be our protection in that day. If it's meant for us to make it to the very end, to be those ones that stand and don't see death, no matter what comes our way, nothing's going to touch us. It's going to slide off us like cellophane. Okay. That word standard in the Hebrew is nawak, which is to flee, escape, to take flight, to depart, to disappear, to attack, to cause to disappear, to drive hastily. So that's the spiritual power, man. Like Yahweh, Yahweh Shai said, um, if you believe on me and the works that I do, greater work shall you do because I go into my father. So when you read about the works Yahweh Shai was doing, he has spiritual power, man. He's saying, if we believe on Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, we're going to be able to do greater works. One of the things Yahweh Shai did, he was able to disappear when they were coming for him, man. He just he just got out of there. Like, he just, boom. Now you see me, now you don't. That's just one of the, the many things that the men of the Lord are going to be able to do in that day. And also, setting up a standard can go for uh, scattering Esau in, before us, too. Because yeah. what's the saying uh, in the law? A hundred, a hundred shall come against you. And like they'll they'll scatter in ten different ways, or ten thousand men shall clear an entire city. We're gonna go back to that that old mighty man spirit where Jacob. Yeah, that for you, right? oh, time. It's Deuteronomy thirty-two and thirty. How should one chase a thousand, and two put ten thousand to flight, except their rock had sold them, and Yahweh had shut them up. And, and the Lord, man, He's gonna be with us in that day. He's not gonna be with the heathen. These heathen actually think that the Lord is dealing with them, but he, that was only to fulfill prophecy for a short season. And that season is over, man. The Lord is back with his men. I got one um, real fast. This is Matthew, uh, <clears throat> Matthew 10 
in 2028. 20, I'm going to read down one of my favorites. It says, uh, and fear not them which kill the body, but are able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. It says, uh, are not two sparrows sold for a falling? A failing? And I'm saying it right. Huh? A far thing. A far thing. A far thing. A far thing. And a one of them should not fall on the ground without the father. But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear ye not, therefore, ye are more valuable, more valuable than many sparrows, man. <clears throat> A point blank period. The most high is uh the former of the light and the darkness, the bringer of good and evil. So this whole movie's been mapped out by Yahweh by Shim Yahushai, and we just gotta play our roles. But what, what's very beautiful about that where it says uh fear him that can destroy the body and soul and not just the body. When you understand these scriptures, you know that death's not a bad thing. Death's actually a release from this current system. It means we go straight to the spirit world and are at peace. And since this is the final, the final reincarnation, if we have to be a martyr on this side, we're gonna automatically go on that chariot with Yahawashai, with those new spiritual bodies, waiting for that little, those last few seconds to come and save the rest of the elect. I got you something. You got another one, Amawa? Oh, you had you had some on. Um, you you had some on. Um, uh, I got some. Uh, yeah. Yeah, just to back up with it. It's uh, Ecclesiastes forty-three. Fear not the sentence of death. Remember them that have been before thee, and that come after thee. I said, like it come after. But this is the sinners of the Lord over all flesh. So there it is. You know, we're not supposed to spirit the sinners of death when you get into this thing. You know, like you said, some of us may get it and some may not. You just don't know what your part is in this movie. But if it is, you're not supposed to spirit it. That's not supposed to be stopping you to bring the truth. If you just think, you know, I'm going to heal. We're not the true man of the Lord. We ain't going to. You know, fit us in some death. We're just gonna keep pushing and see how this play out. Come, right? This uh, and very brother had none. This wisdom of Solomon three and nine. It says, "They that put their trust in Him shall understand the truth, and such as be faithful in love shall abide with Him. For grace and mercy is to His saints." And he cared for his elect. Hey, John, and what did Yahawashai say? Which, which, if you can receive it, Yahawashai was uh, Solomon. When ye shall know the truth, the truth shall set you free. So when you truly get into these scriptures and understand everything, you know, again, that, that death isn't a bad thing. And that uh, when you put your faith in Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, he's the ultimate controller of everything. So he, as easily as he can put you in a bad situation, just as easily as, as he can get you out of it. And it it says, I got a precept after you because the brother Jaquez has got to go. Go ahead. Right. It says, but the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imaginations, which have neglected the righteous and forsaken the Lord. Hey, the expectations of the wicked is wrath. Hmm. You, set up, you set up your treasures on this earth and leaned upon your own understanding. So it's going to be moth eaten and you're going to know that death by pain. You got it. You got it, Elder. All right, I'm going to go up one. The brother had a good one, though. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon 16. And I'm going to go about uh, <clears throat> I'm going to go about 11 and read down. It says, for day were plucked that there were remembered thy words and were quickly saved that not fallen into deep forgiveness they may they might be continually mindful of the goodness for it was neither herb nor multiplying plaster that restored them to health but the word O Lord which healeth all things for thou hast power of life and death and thou leadest to the gates of hell and bring it up again. A man indeed kill it through his malice and the spirit <clears throat> when it is gone forth, return it not. Neither soul 
neither soul will receive it up again. That my bad, receive it coming again. But it is not possible to escape thy hands. So it's hey. all close out, man. And again, the just like the expectation right. is wrath, the, the the expectations of the righteous is hope. <laughs> As you said, they didn't rely on plaster or anything like that. They relied on the word. They had the faith in Yahweh by Hashimi Shai that whatever their lot was, they were gonna they were gonna endure it like a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, not being entangled with the cares of this world. Yes, sir. I got mm -hmm. I got a, I got a, in that same chapter. I kind of went to the bottom. If I could bring this out, let's see if one of you brothers got something. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So this wisdom of Solomon 3, mm -hmm. I'm going to start at 16. I'm going to go to 19. It says, as for the children of adulterers, well, I'm going to read 15. It says, for glorious is the fruit of good labors, which the men of the Lord labor, that the Lord is not un uh, uh, unforgiveful for, to forget your labor of love, and the root of wisdom shall never fall away. Which wisdom and knowledge is the stability of our time or, or those that portray the Lord. I mean, those that, you know, do the acts of righteousness that pleases the way of the Lord. It says, you want, you want to say something? Oh, you, no, I oh. it says, as for the children of adulterers, they shall not come to their perfection. Which when you go to James 4 and 4, all right, he said that, uh, the, uh, this nation is a nation of uh, adultery, the adulteress and adulteress. Okay, it says they if shall I, not if, come to their perfection. If I can and say, the, the, the most high like likens Israel to women, like as yeah. a nation to the daughters of Israel, and an adulterer, every man doesn't like seeing his woman getting popped by, by several other men, especially when he knows about it. So, how much more the most high when the apple of his eye is seen? fornicating being uh having infidelity with these other nations and their philosophies which the most high gave to them and he counts them both the spittle yeah it That's says your adultery is the rage of a man mm -hmm. yep so that, that idolatry that our people commit that's bringing on the wrath mm -hmm. and the rage of your mm -hmm. how about man what you got it huh? yeah and there's no gift to pacify his bosom after mm -hmm. that no gift you can't give him nothing after that he only want to seek blood he only mm -hmm. want a recompense, which is blood. You can't buy him, give him a gift. You can't pacify his anger, man. All right? It says, yeah, because that's a beautiful scripture. It says when fire has gone into a man's bosom, can he then keep that? Uh, that's a, this is in Proverbs 5 at the end. I don't want to paraphrase it too bad. But he said as fire has gone into a man's bosom, can he, can, he, can he not, you know, not basically feel that burn? But it says, and... Uh, as for the children of adulterers, they shall not come to their perfection, and the seed of an unrighteous bed shall be rooted out. For though they live long, yet shall they be nothing regarded, and their last age shall be without honor. Here's the point. Or if they die quickly, they shall they have no hope, neither comfort in a day of trial, for horrible is the end of an unrighteous generation. A point blank period. They must know it after death by pain. Huh. You gotta take that shit to heart. De the Most High is telling you you're gonna get put to death by pain. That means that the, the King of Terrors, El Shaddai, is really gonna put mm -hmm. that work to you when he sends his, his spiritual hitman to come uh, render you your judgment. Y'all are gonna, we know the, the parable of the wheat and the tares, how the wheat or the Israelites and the elect that get put into that barn and storehouse, but you uh, you jakes out there that give heed unto these Edomites will, can be considered as spiritual heathens and tares. What does it say for them? They're gonna get bundled up and cast into the furnace, which we know is that ultimately that nuclear destruction. That why I tell you in Psalms 37, perfect man, for the end of that man is peace. All right, so what's the opposite of that? <laughs> the end of that man is what? Destruction and wrath, man. All right, for one who's not perfect or have, have came to be complete, which perfect means to complete, be complete. And Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, man. But those that remain incomplete, man, the end of that man is wrath. The expectation for that man or his hope is wrath. You got it out. Got it. Real fast. He said, 
talking about the angels, man. This is uh, Proverbs 17, 11. It says, an evil man seeketh only rebellions. Therefore, a cruel messenger should be sent unto him. Well, Somebody get a, uh, I think, I think a cruel messenger in the Strong's right there. And we know personally about these cruel messengers because on our block where we used to preach, we got a resident death angel that's always putting to work people, putting that work to people there. Whenever we didn't go to the block, there was a shooting that weekend we weren't there. And we've seen plenty of people just trip or ride their bike and uh, fall off and go face first into the concrete pavement. There's this one chick, this one old Jake lady who's known for riding her bike down the street playing music, and she's so-called caught the coronavirus, and she oh, always she goes by camp. <laughs> oh, she did? Con. God damn. Damn. Hmm. Oh, old, old Grandma? Bre yeah, yeah, she got the coronavirus. Yeah. What? Yeah, <laughs> Hey, call Liam Liam. How about Shimmy? I was shot, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that, man. Yeah. Hey, cause finally setting day in great dignity, yeah, man. And so long have these people lived in their filing, and it, it seems as if what? There's no recompense. Like, where's that power, man? Well, y'all see them now. All right. Mm -hmm. That's why all these relatives and different people. They're calling because why? In the day of thy power, they're going to be willing, man. The scriptures are jumping off the page at this point, man. Off the top All right? top rope, man. Off the top rope. <laughs> they're jumping off the top rope. Yeah. Off the cage. <laughs> you know the cage match? They're at the top of the cage jumping off, man. For real, bro. God. Hey, this is try getting tracked in, man. It's the word messenger right here. Let me put it up there. Oh. Shit. Uh, yeah, that's the word for cruel. Strong yeah. H, 394. Ah, Zari. Ah, Zari. Ah, Zari. Uh, it means cruel. The point is down here. Uh, which goes in harsh, cruel, furious, savage, a savage messenger, one who brings grievous tidings. Such as a sentence of debt, and that's what those angels are going to bring, man. A sentence of debt, and they already started, man. All right, they already, the Lord already have allowed what you're seeing right now with the coronavirus. The Lord allowed that to happen, man. All right, and He got the angels to do it and to place these different, you know, the angels and demons to place these different uh, viruses and shit on people, man. All right, because uh, real quick, you know, one, one, one. That's unlearned may come up and uh try to dispute that man. Oh no, the Lord is a loving, kind, you know, uh person. He would never let that happen, man. But what's, let's see what Isaiah uh <coughs> Isaiah 45 and 7 says. It's, uh, it says, If I form the light, I create darkness, I make peace and I create evil, I the Lord do all these things, man. You know, and it's another it's another scripture in the Thessalonians, I believe. That's a lot of people. Huh? I got a piece up. Let a truth be blown in the city. Let an evil be done in the city. The Lord has not done it, man. Well, basically, the Lord do all these things, man. Our Lord do all these things. So when you see evil and things happening, all right, on the Lord's scale, on even on the minor scale, the Lord done it, man. And that's why I said, unto the Lord belong the issues of death. All right? And I'm going to say this. What are you saying being displayed? Somebody got drugs in the back, man. What are you saying being displayed around the world right now is the so called elite bankers uh, still in their new world order, man. We're trying, at least trying to get it started. A new world order by thinning the herd, man. Killing off the weak, right? You people out there that got bad health, you have uh, all type of uh, health problems and things like that. It's gonna, it's gonna wipe you out, man. He gonna wipe you out. This man holds agenda. It's a, it's straight kill and destroy, man. That's why the strippers call him the son of perdition, man. The son of destruction. All right. You got it out. If I, kind, if I could say too, with uh, 
as uh, the brother Amawad brought out, as it says in Job 12 and 16, the deceived and the deceiver his. Esau, Edom, and these elites sending out these plagues and these uh, poisonous foods and ruining the environment is ultimately the will of Yahweh by Hashem Shai. Because as it says in Psalms 17, verse 13, the wicked, which we know is Esau, is his sword. But real quick, but real quick, this is Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. The left hand and the right hand and every aspect of life is ultimately controlled by Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Not Esau or uh, Satan having free will and doing a, a war against the Most High in heaven with a bunch of fallen angels. Satan is actually the Most High's top son on the left hand side. Um, Isaiah 47 and 10. It says, uh, but thou hast trusted in thy wickedness. Thou hast said, none seeth me. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it had prevented thee. Perverted, perverted. Perverted, perverted thee. And thou hast said in thy heart, I am I am in none beside, beside, I am in none else besides me. Therefore shall evil come upon thee, and thou shalt not know from whence it rises. And mischief shall fall upon thee. If I could say real quick, uh, where it says, uh, where, where those are the elites pretty much, that's the elites' mindset in Isaiah chapter 47, thinking that the Most High doesn't see what they're doing and that they are, that they're the ones that ultimately are in control of their fate, which goes to 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, where it says they try to be as the Most High and shoot themselves as the Most High, sitting in the seat of the Most High. These elites understand that Yahweh, they, they know the names too, that Yahweh and Yahweh Shai are the true powers out there, who the Israelites are, and that these scriptures are the truth, but still through their wickedness and their minds being deceived by these uh, spirits on the left-handed side, they ultimately think that they're going to succeed with this new world order, which is all just vanity. And it says, um, once again, it says, therefore shall evil come upon thee. You know, because, you know, they, they trust in their way, you know, and of course the people trust in their way as well, man. And before they know it, you know, uh, uh, the wickedness or, or the so-called white man going to come in as a flood. Uh, it said, thou shall not know from whence it rises. And and we know it all is coming from Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. And mischief shall fall upon thee, and thou shall not be able to put it off. And desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. Mm -hmm. Seeing that now, they ain't able to put off that coronavirus. Yeah, it's, too. They talking about a goddamn year and something out before they have anything that really slowed it down, man. You know. And let me say this: in one minute, you Jake's out there, you Jake's out there was uh talking about uh it, it, it's a it's a white and Asian thing. You know, it, it no black people, man. You niggas dropping like flies out here, man. Right, and I'm gonna say this too. Yeah. You, you niggas in the world, man, as a whole, you so you so haughty and prideful, man. You know, you and like I, we went into this a while back, and I was thinking this yesterday. It, it, it's funny how the most the most high is a top comedian, man. Because you niggas want to be the murder capital number one. You the you the murder cap. You the you the murder capital. You number one in that. You know, you take pride in that shit. All right, you niggas, you the top one in HIV. You the top one in uh. You the top one up in uh high cholesterol, diabetes, all right, uh uh hepatitis, A and B out here, you name it. So the Lord just on the on the right, the Lord let you niggas be number one in coronavirus, man. All right, for the states over here, man. The Lord is hurt, mm -hmm. man. All right, he's gonna continue jacking you niggas up down here, man. Cause you you we've been telling you niggas about your help. You still want to eat them pork chops, you still want to eat them hog malls and chitlins, all right. So it's on the right that the Esau attacks, attacks what? Your immune system, man. All right, your respiratory system, you know? It, it was talking about something about the, the weed smokers and shit. How it, it really attacks their bodies, man. This man, this man is a, is a top, he's a top fucking witch, man. The top, uh, um, what's the word? He's a top warlock, so he knows where to hit at. He knows, he knows where to uh, really take you jakes out with, man. All right? 
And we we coming into a time that we learned in and we learned in so-called school in science class, man. It's about to be the survival of the fittest out there, man. Only the strong gonna survive, man. All right. In the top tier of them, the, the strong right now, at the top of the at the top of the totem pole is the elect, man. The elect gonna make it, okay? Everybody else, everybody else is gonna fall in line. You know, if the Lord allows you to make it, all right, in these upcoming days, it's just the tip of the iceberg, man. And you, you listen to them fat niggas, them fat greasy niggas out there all they want about we fear mongers. Hey, man, we, we, we stay in facts, man, because these other camps out here, they don't speak about the end times, man. You don't hit them, you don't hit them, you don't hit a joy in their, in their hearts, man, when the Lord brings death and destruction on these people. They don't even talk about it because why? Niggas want to stay here in America, man. Come on. Niggas want to open up food kitchens and get 5013 charters and get tax exemptions, man. That's why you don't hear them niggas talk about talk bad about America, man. They don't talk bad about their daddy, Esau, man. Okay? And niggas tooting their horn and beating their chest. Like we had one clown ass nigga on the comment board, nigga named Burger King. He didn't been on here before. From my ISP you pay the two, man. Got over there. You, you our biggest fan, man. You know, we, we got good fans. You know, I ain't even called brothers fans. We have we got, we know we got the scoffers, all right. Then you got the, you got the uh, the bad scoffers that really you know all of them are fucking bad. You know all of them bad. But you got the you got the you got the the, the real top shit talkers out there, man. All right, well, well nigga, you should have been over there by them, man. You know eating eating some chicken and what the other nigga said, uh, fish and hot, fish and hot sauce, man. You should have been over there, but you over here watching us, man. Mm -hmm. You are biggest fan. No, you are biggest. You are top fan. You are top. Uh, thumb downer, you know we got we got another, another guy, you know we got another guy uh, that's our top thumb downer too, man. We we know him personally, you know. But it is what it is, though, man. You niggas, <laughs> okay, you niggas, time is coming with a most I gonna jack your ass up, man. You gonna catch some shit with some numbers out here, all right? Some some ravenous dog gonna eat your ass alive, man. Okay, some neutral rats. Yeah, some hungry ass birds and and and. and the wildlife, because they're already talking about how the wildlife, because the cities are empty. Guess what? The wildlife is coming into the cities now, man. All right. So it, it, it's getting real, man. We're in the second round of them food rationings coming around again, man. Where everybody gotta go out and look for that food again, man. You know. And those stores are still empty of uh, toilet paper and other essentials like that. Ain't yeah. shit. Yeah. Ain't shit. Yeah. Bread, nothing. Ain't shit. Yeah. Shit. yeah. <laughs> I, I just, the brother, you're in line, bro. Every day is diminishing and diminishing. Like the other aisles are losing, like it, they empty. All uh -huh. right. And they are putting up signs that saying, you know, when this item do come back and stop, you can only take one. Hey, the signs, like they have signs by the bread and the water and stuff like that. They're putting signs up, man. So that's letting you know. That is going to be a further discontinuance on it, man. All right? There's never been a time where they had signs where an item supposed to be, be at unless it's discontinued. But they're saying when it do come back, you can only get one uh, or two. Okay? When it come back, which we know is what? A steady what? Diminishing. All right? The trucks are, are working less hours. All right? A brother... Did a video in the Dallas camp about the truck drivers, man, about how they got a sense of urgency and seriousness because of the lack of work. You know, they getting they pretty much last runs in all that they can do to make sure they're storing up money, man. OK, because it's about to be a, a lockdown. That's right, man. I, I got some of you brothers got something. Oh, you got it. Y'all can know that guy's a fanatic. Yeah, I got one after you. All right. That's a person. Filled with excess, excessive, and single minded zeal, especially for an extreme religious or political cause, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's that guy, man. The guy, Burger King, man. <laughs> All right. Then the nigga, so he's so bugged out that he, he, he's repping he on some gang type shit, you know. He's repping ISBK, but I bet, I bet you this nigga's not even with ISBK, man. You just a fanboy, man. No, the nigga, you you a nigga in the parking lot, you know, you in you in the stands of the parking lot off the highway, man. You know, you know how they had the niggas on the neutral ground off the highway mm -hmm. watching the truck, watching the pregame. That's that nigga, man. Yeah, you know, some 
some synonyms for him is a maniac, a <laughs> whack a doodle. <laughs> this guy's a whack a doodle, man. Mm. All right, a freak. <laughs> all right, he's a maniac to see what we're saying. All right, a freakazoid, a whack a doodle, man. <laughs> <laughs> But I got I ain't some never heard that one. Stuff, man. <laughs> this shit crazy, man. Either. This guy's a zit <laughs> zillot. Yeah, that, that's him. Yeah. But we're gonna keep this beautiful lesson going, man, because hey, the hope of the just, matter of fact, I'm gonna read it. This Proverbs 11 and 3. Because this is what the men of men of the Lord have. It says the integrity, all right? So that's the what? The morality, the morals of a righteous, upright man. It says the integrity of the upright shall guide them. So what's guiding us? You see the integrity? We're talking about the words of the Lord, the upcoming calamities, the famines, things that have come to get you properly prepared. And this nigga name is Burger King. Hey, how you could take somebody serious that want to know about the word of the Lord with a name like Burger King, man? You can and you won't. Right. He's just a joke. Listen, he's getting laughed at before. He's a joke just by his name, man. So imagine this guy, Gate, all right? If his name is Burger King, imagine this Gate, man. His countenance, man. Yeah. You know, like, it ain't much to come from that, right? Because you're a joke in itself to name yourself Burger King, man. All right? It says... If I could say real quick, uh, with that word integrity... When somebody has integrity, that means that they carry themselves and have a standard because they have a, a higher moral disposition. And what's our moral disposition? Yeah, well, slack you. shy in the law, statutes, and commandments, which are the ways of life. Morality. Yeah, I'm gonna, it's morality. I'm gonna keep the lesson going because I can really, like I said, I can really, really, I'm feeling right now. I can really tear in that, into that guy. But go ahead. <laughs> yeah, it's the morality. It's the it's the morality. In a man, man, which is your soul. That's your makeup, your characteristics, how you how you conduct your anastrophe, man. You see, uh, it says the integrity of the upright shall guide them, but the perverseness and the Lord have me with a perverse spirit among these people, man. All right. Drinking wine in a bubble bath with the apocrypha. And hey, we could go on and on, man. It says, but the perverseness of transgressors shall destroy them. The, the wackadoodle of a transgressor is going to destroy him. All right? The freakism. All right? The Living maniacism up. of a person, man. All right? Let me jump to seven and, and eight. You, and y'all got it, all right? It says six. It says the righteousness of the upright shall deliver him. Deliver them. All right, and the righteousness is the work. This is the work. Are you scoff or scoff at? It the says integrity. the integrity. It says, but transgressors, transgressors shall be taken in their own naughtiness. It says, when a wicked man died, his expectation shall perish, and the hope of the unjust men perish it, man. You see? The hope, I'm gonna read that again. Because we've been hopping on this whole thing, all right? It says, when a wicked man died, his expectation shall perish. Everything that was expected of him, man, all right, is, is gone with him. It says, and the hope of unjust men perish it, man. You got it out. A point blank period. And what's the, the, the hopes and expectations of a perverse person? Definitely not a Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Chai, or they wouldn't be scoffing the men of the Lord or walking around here walking around here with their ass in the breeze. The expectations of them is to go into their daddy, the devil, who also was a perverse man and was a seek the place of repentance but didn't find it. And that's ultimately why you Jakes are going to get put to death because you're, 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 you're hearkening unto a men instead of the Most High. If you didn't, could somebody hold me Jeremiah 17 and 5 and then that Isaiah 31 started one? But you got it, Doc. Hey, yeah, that is. Scripture real fast, too. Um, kind of. <laughs> hey, yeah, it's same here, too. Uh, here you go. I got a little bit more. Okay. Let me get it right here. This is a. Uh, I'm going to go up. All right. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 3 and 3. It says, For ye are yet carnal. 
For whoso as there is among you envy and strife and division, are ye not carnal and walk as men? For while one said, I am Apollo, I am Paul, and another, I am Apollos, are ye not carnal? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ISBK, I'm this one, I'm that one, you know what I'm saying? On this old, you know, gang mafia bullshit, man. Whatever the whatever these niggas got going on over there, man. You're a man pleaser, right? It says, "Who then is mm -hmm. who is Apollos, but ministers, but on whom he believed, even as the Lord gave to every man? I have planted, Apollos watered, it, but the Most High give the increase. And you niggas are not even giving the Most High credit. You know what I'm saying? You you niggas calling the most. You know the you know a lot of them clowns know the Most High name, but they calling them Christ." Right, they call him uh God and all these other uh, subtitle names, man, but not his name it, it itself, man. You know, we're gonna see, man. We hey, we definitely in the times where we're gonna see who the real man of the Lord is, man. Every you know, you got guys beating their chests out there, you know, and them guys, you and I'm gonna say this too. A lot of these guys, they're not men of the Lord, man, they're not prophets. They just they just guys that's they, they like the info commercials late at night, man. They just tell you, hey, you're Israelite, hey, we came on Congo slave ships. Deuteronomy 28, and that's it. That's it with them. You know, it, it, there's nothing deep about them. All right, them guys are shallow as fuck, man. There's nothing deep about these guys, man. They don't go into the Illuminati. They don't go into the chip. They don't go into martial law. All right? They call that fear mongering. They call that uh, conspiracy theory, man. Well, we're going to see how it's conspiracy theory when some Russian soldier, all right, some soldier from uh, Thailand is sticking the, the the butt of a gun, the butt of an AR up your ass, man, in your goddamn mouth, man. All right, and pulling the trigger, man. We gonna see. If I could say this, Elder, Go ahead. another uh, another example of denying the Lord is when you say something like, "I'm General Yohanna's creation. Yohanna made me." Like, we're the Heavenly Father created us, bro. Like, really, Yahweh Shai created us through the orders of Yahweh. So when you say another man created you, that's a really, really a blasphemous statement, man. It's, I mean, it's man pleasing, it's disgusting, but ultimately you're taking glory away from your how about you how it's done. If I can make a point too, just to back up what the elder brought out in First Corinthians, yeah, you're gonna see a lot of these uh so-called men of the Lord out here are the exact opposite. They are carnal minded and man pleasers. Because yeah. what did Paul say? Who is Paul or who is uh a a Paul a, 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 a yeah. who is Paul? Oh, Paul. Paul is, man. Paul had planted, Apostle uh, Apollos had watered, but the Most High gave an increase. Yeah, he just yeah, that's showing that they had integrity because yeah. they weren't megalomaniacs caring about their names or ranks or a five hundred one c three. They said, "Who am I? I'm just a vessel of Yahweh by Hashemi. I was shy. The Most High could raise up rocks to do exactly what we're doing. We're just worms." That's integrity right there to know that the wisdom hasn't puffed you up to the point where you start thinking that you're this great man and that you're creating other people out here. Yeah, I had a, had a precept to go with the topic, yo. You know, I, I know. Uh, yeah, I one 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 go ahead. I, I was saying I have one, but I know yeah, one. One. he got one. I gotta go after him. Yeah, yeah. One of y'all go with the Proverbs sixteen and eighteen. Pride goes for pride goes before destruction, and a haughty spirit before a fall. So yeah, all these guys are all real proud, you know. They they gonna get this destruction that's coming, you know, because that that spirit is not at the most high. Being proud, how can you be proud? You ain't nothing but dirty ashes, pretty much, you know. Come. How can you uh, say another man created you? You know, a man who got flesh and blood like you, like you taking out a credit from the most high, and you know that's a proud statement, and you won't come back to you one way or another. Come. Not, not only is it wicked that he said it, it's wicked that Yohanna let him say it. Like, even if a brother in Great Millstone, scriptures say that a man mm -hmm. uh, slipped it with the tongue, if somebody in our camp was to say something like that, the elder would be like, yo, that, that's off. The yeah. fact that he said it, but nobody right. around him corrected him after he said it is even a, a bigger problem. Because yeah. we all go off. That's why we're in the truth. Mm -hmm. Scriptures tell you uh, the, the ministry is for the perfecting of the saints. So we all going to make mistakes. But the fact that nobody corrected him, that's cool to say, like what? That's that's crazy. That shows you that the Lord's not doing it. No, I was gonna just say it show you that his congregation, they don't follow the ways and the path of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, man. They follow their own doing 
like they like their slogan is they know cowards man you know so what, what, what they, they have a mindset of being not a coward in this world so that means to just combat every damn thing man and and, and, and you know and just go on just go off a of man word you know johanna's word you know and if i could say you you can see the fruits of johanna's labors when you've got a leader that condones his goons going to another man's spot and and ruining a beautiful <laughs> that yeah. shows exactly where his mind's at. Yeah. The word goons, man, because you know that's that's yeah. good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, man. Got, um, I got a precept real fast. Once you get the word goons, this is a goon, a silly, foolish, or eccentric person, a bully, or a thug especially one hired to terrorize or do away with opposition. Yeah. Hey, hey, one of the brothers, I'm going to say this, man. <laughs> hey, you boys ain't got found out, man. You know, that, that probably one C3 charter shit, you didn't got found out, man. You know? Ooh, let, let me get the definitions for it in the Urban Dictionary. This is one. A generally low-ranking member of a gang or syndicate, yep. typically the recipients of street-level work. These are, <laughs> these are generally the most disposable members of an organization built to take the fall in order to protect the higher-ups in the case of illegal activities gone awry that have attracted police attention. Yep. For you. <laughs> Good. <laughs> One who participates in vandalism, loitering, public displays of ignorance, outward obnoxiousness, and other non-socially acceptable practices justified by a directionless, but nonetheless strong pack mentality and conformity with other similarly outlandish behaving individuals. Ooh, we got one more. An individual substandard wit or mental competency commonly identified by less by a less than reputable character someone without integrity bad personality and or poor taste in personal style and that's hey that's them all the way man <laughs> all in a nutshell man every last single word that's them man yeah right? i had this one precept real fast this is jeremiah 17 5 it says Thus said the Lord, cursed be the man that trusted in man and make it flesh his arm. Yeah. Whose heart departed from the Lord, man. Hey, point. Oh, you got it? Because it's not even about the Lord with them guys, man. And many other characters and, and groups I had. It's about it's about whoever their leader is, man. You got they got niggas that made, you got certain groups that made their leader Moses, man. <laughs> he's he's Moses. Hard mm -hmm. you know? to see. Yeah. <laughs> Got he's got a private jet. <laughs> yeah. Got, so, yeah. So, I was trying to got this. <laughs> Air got Force this. 144. I yeah. said so plain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had one of the in that one. It's Proverbs 2. Yeah. Proverbs 2 and 20. It says um, that thou mayest walk in the way of good men and keep the path of the righteous for the upright shall dwell in the land and the perfect shall remain in it. But the wicked shall be cut off from the earth and the transgressors shall be rooted out of it. And that's what the Lord gonna do, man. You know, the, the righteous gonna walk in the hope of the, uh, of the way of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh And all those that transgress the heavenly father, man, they're gonna be rooted out, man. So we gonna, you know, we gonna see those, those, those sifting angels so, uh, pick these people clean out the way, you know. Yeah, like the description, um, second Ezra say, man, then it should be known who are my chosen, man. We in them times, man. All right, all these death angels, all right, all these different plagues and pestilence and all this terror and and, and, and destruction is, is, is at the starting line, man. You know, and they already really they truly they already started, man. The Lord is gonna bring great debt and destruction to this place, man. We said it, you know, the apostles and elders, man, of GMS, we've been told, told you, man. This ain't fair, man. This is just facts. This is true prophecy, man. All right, ain't nobody, ain't nobody fear mongering <laughs> as these clouds. I don't even know what the word fear mongering mean, but 
you know, I digress. You know what I'm saying? You know, we, we've been telling you what's going to happen. We ain't been telling you uh put together $300 for a Passover and come out there. You know, we're going to have Casey and JoJo sing, or we're going to sing ourselves like Bubble Eyes. You know, we've been telling you that from day in to day out, the prophecies of the Lord, okay? The chip. I, I got a quick one real fast. If you don't mind, I... Okay, go ahead. Proverbs, I mean, Psalms 145 and 20. The Lord will preserve it. The Lord preserve it all, all them that, that love him, but the but all the wicked will he destroy. Just uh -huh. basically what you were saying, man. You know, the, the Lord, what we've been talking about, man, is the truth, man. And the Lord will, you know. He said he will destroy them, man. Yeah. You know, there ain't no if and buts about it. Don't say might not. Maybe nope. is will. Will God. Yeah. Yeah, because the will of the Lord is at hand, man. The Lord, the Lord, really, really finna do his thing. We just, we just peeking at the tip of that iceberg, man. You know, we we tell you time and time again, devastation and all all out terror is finna happen out here, man. All right, well, the Lord is finna basically just run, run through this place, man, from top to bottom. All right, from from one coast to the to the other, man. All right. Yeah. I got to go with that. It's a second Timothy chapter three, verse one. This note also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. And that's the times we're in right now. Perilous times for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, Truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent. Yeah. Hey, hey, they false accuse us, man. They say that uh they say uh the whole rape issue and shit, and they still haven't found nobody that we so-called raped or none of that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? They 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 want to believe what they want to believe, even though it's playing playing in front of them mm -hmm. what's going on, they still gonna run with shit, man. That's why a lot of niggas just gotta get destroyed, man. When you deal with Jake. All right, when you come from the, the, the certain background, I know that I come from, you know what I'm saying? You know, you one thing you know about niggas, man. Niggas are some exaggerators, man. Niggas just exaggerate some shit, <laughs> right? We had a guy amongst us that always exaggerate shit, man. You know, Jake will tell you that he was on his balcony and a, and a chariot came, pulled up to his, pulled up to the balcony, man. You know what I'm saying? He's seen a guy, you know, Jake just exaggerate <laughs> to the goddamn unteen power, man, you know? But Jake is a goddamn false accuser, man, a liar, all right? And the list goes on and on. Go ahead, Al. Hey, I'm a liar. Could you, you mind rereading the first part real quick where it said, man shall be a lovers of themselves and all that? Uh -huh. The second Timothy three and two, for men shall be lovers of their own selves. Keep going. Covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, and the perfect obedience to parents. Hey, and the most perfect example the most high gave was all these different social media platforms like uh Instagram or uh TikTok or Twitter, or any of that, or especially YouTube. What do you see men being? Lovers of themselves, covetous, proud boasters. Everybody's just a clout chaser out here trying to be that man, getting as many followers and likes and money as they can. Hey, you yeah. see it all the time, man. When you when you when you know it's bad mm here -hmm. in America. When a nigga get shot out with bullets, he's in the ambulance. Look, y'all, who got shot, y'all? Look, y'all. Yeah. Nigga got a nigga got a whole big <laughs> in his goddamn shoulder, but yeah, he's in the emergency room showing and shit, man. As he bleeding and shit, you know these people are out here all for clout. You know everybody trying to catch that soldier boy deal, man. FFB, you know maybe <clears throat> trying to get them a reality show and shit. This is America, man. All right, and then you got then you let's get into our world, okay? The Israelite world, man. You got you got niggas joining other groups and coming together to you know for clout for money, all right, for views and shit, man. With action figures. Yeah, nigga got action figures out here, man. Mm. The Nate Daniel doll. Hey, it is all, it's all <laughs> about agenda. It's all about agenda for everybody, man. No, a, a man out of his pure heart will serve the Lord, man. All right, in purity, man. Upright, man. All right, and hold firm to it. You know, even when that roller coaster ride get tough and rough, 
you know, when it's going through that that downward loop or it's making that full for that circle, a man gonna hold on tight, man, and, and ride that thing out, man. All right, a real man of the Lord. But this, uh, y'all brothers ain't have nothing. I got to finish. Right, man. Up. I'm almost done. Oh, uh, Slack. Slack. Without, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, and continent, fierce despisers of those that are good. You know, brothers are doing good works out here, man. We're prophesying according to the scriptures, We're putting off the old man, putting the Lord above ourselves, man. These people despise us. Traitors, heady, high minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of the most high. You know, we got, hey, man, that's a heavy thing going on, man. Guys, lovers of pleasures more than the lovers of the most high, man. Yeah. Jake and Tim, hey, man, this is this is a strong statement when we were coming up, man. If I if I just met you, you just met me, or we cousins or something, because we brought this up before, the first time you go by somebody's house, hey, man, where the hoes at, man? If, if you if you a guy that can tell you, you can tell you all the hoes at, 9 20 24 7 times of the day is all about women. Hey man, you you know you in the wrong spirit, man. You're all about pleasures, you know, all right? Feeding the flesh, man. All right. <clears throat> feeding the flesh. We know many guys is all about feeding the flesh all that damn day, man. All right. If that's not getting, you know, you got guys about the women situation, the clubbing, all that shit, man. And you and you're not rooted in the most high. You you tell me you've been seven, seven, ten. Nine, five fucking years, and you you don't know not one scripture. You don't know one breakdown of the Most High, man. It's something wrong, man. The Lord's clearly not dealing with you, man. All right, you don't know who. Like I bring it out, it's it's it's, it's a small thing, but in the spirit, it's major, man. When you don't know who a polygon is, the bottom is pit. All right, who's the rough goat in Daniel? All right, you ask you ask Jake who's the rough goat in Daniel. Jake, Jake gonna say. Leonardo DiCaprio is the shit, man. <laughs> All right? The Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah, man. Jay going to say some off-the-wall shit. He's been here for years, man. We didn't, we didn't went through this thing time and time again. You got you got baby brothers. Brothers just coming in running laps around you, man. Like the Indy 500. That's a problem. You know? That's a goddamn problem, man. Go ahead. Right, go ahead, Doc. Because I can fly. Boy, I can go, boy. Like I say, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of the Most High, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof. Yeah, Jake, 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 you about to chop like a thaw? No, Jake, go all, in, Jake, could go all into the Hebrew, man. All right, Jake, go all into the Hebrew. When it comes to the scriptures, don't know nothing, not one, man. Put the beads on, head, man. All right. Out of state, out of world, funkadelic fucking shirt on, you know, with the hobby shot on, you know, Jake, you know, you see it, man. Jake all into it, man. He had a form of godliness. Jackie with the patches. Huh? What you say? The jacket with the menorah patches and all that kind of shit. The Jake be having the jacket, the no patches on it and everything you now. You know? Oh, yeah. Got everything. Jake, even. They can even get down to putting the frankincense and murder on, man. All right? All of, you know, right. talk about the country, it's just a form of godliness, man. But the yeah. nine, the nine are part of the up, man. Check out the varsity jacket with the fringes on, man. Yeah, the brother's He's ready to go. Mm -hmm. Having a form of godliness. Yeah, go ahead. Denying the power thereof. How, how do you deny the power thereof, man? You don't obey the commandments. You don't love the brotherhood with unstained love. You're not a part of the body, but you... You on social media, you super duper Hebrew Israelite, you know, and, and for, to be seen in men, all right. From yeah. such, turn away. That's so what the bad part is what Jake do too. Jake could connect and socialize with everybody outside their camp, and you know, they all in Chicago, they all in LA, they all in they all in uh New York, Florida, all right, all these different places. But when it comes to loving the brothers that's among them. All right, that's an on reach. Jay can't do it, man. Then you then, then when you try to, you know, do Matthew 18 and you come to the brother, you try to deal with him with you know, compassion and love. The guy just self-destructs, you know what I'm saying? He's going to self-destruct mode. You know how you know how 
Yeah, y'all have ever seen that? Uh, you ever seen that movie Predator? When Predator, he he's got he's on his way out by the die. What he do? He put that arm out, pop that thing, get to hitting them buttons, man. The nigga self destruct, man. And that's what you see guys do, man. Because what what the scripture says about uh, a man that's often rebuked, man. Yeah. What he says? It says he he begins to hard his neck. Yeah, he begins to start to self destruct, man. And they get so much of self destructing where they lash out, man, in anger, lash out, you know, in uh, envy and shit, man. You know, they just stop coming because they don't want to be told anything. They don't. They can't. One thing about one thing about you know my short time in this thing, man. It's one thing I see, man. Jake hate discipline. Jake, when you start to apply discipline to a man, all right. You start to apply, that's, you know, that's what the military does, you know. You get to apply discipline and, and motherfuckers crack, man. Everybody can't be a Marine, man. Everybody can't be a, a Marine, all right? I've seen SEAL Team 6 and shit, and everybody can't be definitely a man of the Lord, man. Many are called, but few are chosen, man. You got to be cut from a different, you got to be cut from a different cloth in this thing, man. All right? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, hey man, you gonna go through some shit, man. In your personal life, in the truth, all right. But it's all about how you, how you, how you endure and come up out of it, man. Go ahead, uh, hey, bro, hey. hey, pressure bust pipes because the orchestrating of order basically finds out the adversity in a man, all right. Whether he could stay there on or he wasn't built or equipped for it, man. And it's simple, man. All right, we know this thing is essential, it's pivotal. All right, once you know that the truth is essential and pivotal above, above all things, that's it, man. All right, dedicate and donate the rest of your fucking life to it, man. Yeah, that's it. One thing I, I pray for in this truth to the most high, man, from, from day one, you know, when I actually knew this is me, this is what I, 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 I'm destined to do, I pray for longevity, man. That's what it's about, having longevity, man. You know, a lot of guys, you know, and this, this is a fad, man. You know, you got to really, you got to really find out and dig deep within yourself to know if this, this is what you want to do. Because, you know, you're looking at, you're looking at some definitely some times before you that's coming, man. You know, and only, only the weak is going to fail and get torn apart, man. All right, finish it out, I'm a Real quick, free Matthew 24 and 13. But he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. Yeah. And the word endure means to make hard, man. It says until the end. Like the elder was just saying, man, you can't just come in, learn 100 precepts, and then slack off. But um, getting back to that uh, 2 Timothy 3, it says without natural affection, that goes into Jake's that they know that this is the truth. They know that this is the body of Yahweh Shai, but they... They don't belong. They don't have. They don't. They don't know how to be a brother. They don't have natural affection. Like the brother was saying the other day, like it's the most natural thing for us to just be around each other and fellowship. It's not like a like you gotta do something extra. It's just you just be. Well, you don't be yourself in the sense that you you were the man that you were in the world, but you you be the new you, that new creature. Hey man, you know, fellowship man. It's not it's not a burden of fellowship with brothers, man. Hey, it's not a hard thing, man. I actually like right now, man. This is the second week we ain't been, you know, whole camp. I miss brothers, man. You know, yeah. Hey, uh, hey, man, brothers miss the block, man. The spot. Yeah. You know? yeah. I miss brothers, man. Like you, you know, you after a while, after years have gone by, you start to grow a family, man. You know, this thing is, uh, it is a family, man. You get to be around certain brothers every day. Certain brothers have you joked out, laughing and shit. So you miss that, man. All right, that's why we tell you, man. Whatever, whatever, uh, different. Differences you got with a man in this troop, especially you guys within GMS, man. You got any differences? Any uh, any small quarrels that you can hatch it out, talk over like men, and not be little boys and hold grudges and shit? You better get that shit out the way, man. All right, you better you better hold your you better get that out out the way, man. Because the Lord finna the Lord finna make this sacrifice on the altar, man. When I'm saying when I say that, I'm talking about he about to do his thing in the murder. So whatever you whatever you still holding, the Lord gonna count that figure, man. You better get that shot the way, bro. You better yeah. get out of the way, man. And make peace with your brother, man. Like the elder, uh, elder boss said about your pops and shit. 
All right, you better get that out of the way, man. That's a form of sinning too, man. All right, having a having a, a deep hatred or a grudge because a man told you something, because a man rebuked you. All right, you better get that shit out of the way, man. All right, and and, and basically repent, man. Because it's, it's getting it's getting tight. Shit getting tight, man. You ain't gonna better tell that man the goddamn thing, man. You might not see that man at all until the wilderness, man. The chariot in the wilderness, man. And the next time you might see that see that man in the camp, that man you got a difference a difference in with a difference with, all right. You might not see that man to the either the, the cherish, the wilderness, or the kingdom, man. So you get that out the way, bro. Mm. Yeah, it out, right? Real quick, y'all got it. This is James five and nine, real quick. Grudge not one against another, brethren. Lest you be condemned. Behold, the judge standeth before the door. I just want to bring that out, man. You can't, can't grudge your brother, man. That's a, it's in the law. It's in Leviticus. All right, you're not supposed to grudge an Israelite. That's for all you Jake's talking about. We Israel, we got to keep the commandments. But you holding grudges, that you breaking a chief commandment right there. But y'all got it. Hey, Jake said. Like, they, Jake said they they love you from afar, but when it comes to inner works and then checking on a man and, and dealing straight, you ain't dealing straight, man. You you think somebody don't see this shit, but you only fooling yourself, man. All right, you gotta get that shit out the way, man, and deal straight, man. The law gonna count that shit against you. The law, like I said, the law finna do his thing, man. He finna really just tear up this goddamn place, man. And like I said, when any any differences or any you know anything that I might have with a, with a, a, a brother or whatever that is, I'm gonna get it out the way, man. <clears throat> You know? Yeah, I'm bring I'm gonna bring the scripture out and back up, Elder. Yeah. Because if you you know you call your brother rocker, you're gonna be in and in, in, in danger of hellfire. This Matthew 5 and 23. It says, Therefore, if thou bring thy gift to the altar and there rememberest that thy brother had aught against thee, meaning the issue or whatever it is, okay, it says, Leave thy gift before the altar. And go thy way. First be reconciled to thy brother and then come and offer thy gift. Yeah, man. A point blank period. If, if you're not if you're not at peace with, with the men the men that are standing next to you doing the exact same thing you're doing, all fighting for the same thing, then whatever you gift you give after that is bullshit because you're not showing charity, which is the chief thing. And you're not at peace with yourself. Because this is the second commandment behind loving the law, Lord above all and everything. So if you don't love your brother more than your, it don't even say love yourself, but love your brother more than you don't, you don't love yourself. If you don't know how to love your brother, all right, which is the the the, the most beautiful orchestra, uh, orchestration of love, because Yahweh Shah did the most beautiful thing. He came, died for his brother, man, to fulfill the uh, the uh, the to fulfill that which was um set before him. All right, he came, gave his life for all his brother, man. All right, starting first with the hundred and forty-four thousand, and even also them that's gonna be reconciled into Israel back in the kingdom, man. Which are what the whole house of Israel, but ultimately those that was his, the hundred and forty-four. Yahweh shall sacrifice that we may love each other. He sacrificed for the love. He sacrificed his life for the love of his brothers that we may love each other, man. And it's scriptural. It's biblical. So you can't get wrong. And if you don't know how to do it, then you not, you not a brother. Like You're not in the body. You're not in the body, man. Your name is not written in the book of life. Even if you cling to the body around it, your name is not written in the book of life. You got it. Hey, you not oh, okay. real quick. Hey, you not loving your brothers tantamount to you not loving Yahweh Shai. That's you put him back on the cross to shame again. You're not loving yourself. Yeah, straight up, man. Oh, I got uh James. I got James five, and I'm gonna start at I'm going to start at 16. It says, confess your faults one to another and pray for one another that ye may be healed. 
the effectual fervent prayers of a righteous man avail it much. Um, right. Did you want to yeah, make I mean, the law? I, I was just saying, you know, uh, it's, it's best to confess your faults or whatever uh, issue that may be, uh, uh, brother man, you know, because you want to get those things out the way, man. You know what I mean? And you want to also pray for your brothers, man, so they can uh, uh, continue to uh, progress in this truth, man, just like you want to, man. You know? So you can be uh, in spirit. And if I could say, hey, the man that's on next to you or the man that's on, on this uh, live stream with you, your brother, that's your true family right there. That, that was your first family, and that's your only family. Because, I mean, Yahweh Shai said, Matthew mm. chapter 12, I'm going to start at 46. While he yet talked to the people, behold, his mother and his brethren stood without, desiring to speak with him. Then one said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without, desiring to speak with thee. But he answered and said unto him that told him, Who is my mother and who are my brethren? And he stretched forth his hand toward his disciples and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren, for whosoever shall do the will of my father which is in heaven, the same as my brother and sister and mother. Hey, and if you're bringing that acceptable sacrifice up to the altar, then that means you're doing the will of the most high. And what does that entail? Loving your brother as yourself and more than yourself. Mm -hmm. I got one back there. Matthew 22, 39. And the second is, like unto you, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. You know, your brother, you know, pretty much considered as your neighbor too. You're not just uh, you step out the door and look at something might or some evil might next to you. You meant your neighbor, you know. Your real brother and your real neighbor is the brother that's in this truth that you can like, I mean, that's your real deal thing down to it. But you know, like, I understand you and you're going through the same thing. Hey, hey man, somebody get first Corinthians 13 and 1, man. Oh man. Hey man, we got like I said, we gotta get you know, you gotta do better than that, man. You know, we just gotta get to that, get to that form, man. It, it just we in sync with each other, man. All that everything balls and shit should be out the way, man. You know, it should be out the way. And all the thing we should be waiting for the big burn to come back. It shouldn't be uh it shouldn't be have a time like that 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 wicked nigga aching, man. They couldn't they couldn't get those different precious uh Things that they stole, not stole, but the things they took from the other nations, and that nigga went hid some under, under the sand. And the Lord told him, you know, somebody ain't right amongst you, man. So how how would that be? We got we got problems. We we got a camp, or we you know we got a body where we can't move forward and putting that head with that head crown on, which is your house shot. But we still got we got quarrels and different differences amongst each other, man. Personal shit. We can't move forward because. Hey, I would I would come back and save you right now, but y'all got different somebody ain't right. Hey man, now we gotta now we gotta go around different men and ask, you know, what's what the fuck going on, man? You know what I'm saying? We should been had that out the way. We should, it's about moving forward, man. You know, Jake's still stuck on, you know, uh three years ago, four years ago, five years ago, man, seven years ago, man, on dumb shit. All right? It's not about you, man. It's not about you, man. And that's sometimes about also being a bigger man, you know. And I'm gonna say this too because I know for a fact a lot of times it's about timing too, man. All right, picking the right time and actually, you know, to bring forth the differences, man. And that's coming to play it's about doing it, you know? not putting this shit off either, man. Oh, yeah. I was just gonna say real quick, that's yeah, another one too. That, that's uh, really spiritual that he brought up that situation with Aiken. What did they do to him after they fi found out he wasn't uh, committed to the body of Israel? They burned him and his goods up. And what's going to happen to these Jakes that uh, still have that evil eye to their brother and have that uh, dirty, dirty sacrifice they want to bring up to the altar? They're going to be those spiritual tears that are going to get burned up in that hellfire, the nuclear hellfire. Right. Come on, you got that yes. first Corinthians for me? Con, I got it. Let me get that first real fast. Con, this is uh, 1 Corinthians 13 and 1. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, 
I am become a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. Yeah, man. You just, you just, hey, you, you know all the scriptures, you know the breakdowns, you know history, you know, uh, you know period pieces, all this shit, man. But you have not charity is all for nothing, man. You just, you just, you know, a, you just a. Ah, I can't even, you know, I'm, I'm so wrapped up in it, I really can't even think of the word I want to say right now, man. You're just loud noise. And you just a loud fucking noise, man. A loud, aggravating ass noise, man. It's like if somebody was to have symbols all day and just smash them together all day, all day, nonstop, man. That should get on your nerves, man. Go ahead, I. Converse. Oh, you keep going. And though I had the gift of prophecy and understanding all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that mm -hmm. I could remove mountains and have my charity. I am nothing. You mm -hmm. hit hard right there, man. Uh, Go ahead, uh. Verse three. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, it profiteth me nothing. Yeah, and, and that part about feeding the poor is the, the men in the body with you. Do I have, do I give my body to burn? Meaning, that mean going out to the block, man, being a sacrificial lamb or, be, or being a sacrifice, man. Right, spirit, you know, living, giving our bodies a sacrifice on the block. Do I go on the block and prophesy? All right, put my body out there to be burned, and I have not charity. What it says, it profiteth me nothing. Yeah, it's all for nothing, man. You just playing yourself, man. You just playing yourself, man. It's like it's like recording for twenty four hours with a camera, and the bitch ain't even on, man. You just thinking, you just see the screen on. The, the, the record little symbol ain't on or nothing. You just you just going to town, man. All right, you running, you all in a pool with the bitch, and then you go home to, to put it up. The bitch ain't got nothing up there. You just playing yourself. That's what you're doing at the end of the day, man. You don't know how to you know how to condition yourself to love the brotherhood, man. All right, and, and think think every man every man that's in a brotherhood is a is a precious a precious man amongst you, man. All right. You're thinking of them as your Howard Shy himself, man. You know, we don't deal and talk to each other like niggas on the street, man. I mean, brothers get into arguments and they go there, you know, but we know how to uh we know how to basically you know, at least if we gonna just watch the end of the day. Huh? What you say? Yeah, we squash it at the end of the day. We squash it at the end of the day though. Yeah, you know. Find a resolution to the shit, man. You know. Mm -hmm. You don't put it off two, three, four, five days like it's it's, it's nothing, man. You know, and like I said, sometimes I'm a guy. That I, you know, I need hour or two a day. But then I'm gonna, you know, then we're gonna talk about that thing, man. We're gonna make things right, man. You know, because I don't want to. <clears throat> at the end of the day, I don't want to go home or go out and leave a brother and the shit ain't right, and I don't never see that brother no more. That brother don't never see me no more. You know, something happens. You know, Jacob trouble come where I never get to. You know, reconcile that thing, man. Make make things right, man. I'm gonna feel stupid. I'm gonna be you know, especially I'm up here saying I love that man. You know what I'm saying? I love this body, the body, I love the truth, and I ain't make it right, something wrong now, man. Uh let me see. Go down to about go down to about uh shit. Go all of it, all of his good. Huh? You want to jump down to around verse 9 to, to 13? Yeah, go there. Go there. Huh. This is 2 Corinthians 13, verse 9. Talk about 7. 7 time. Beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Charity never faileth, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. Yeah, and you got guys that don't know how to put away childish things and grow up, man. You know, did not have charity, did not love your brother. It, it's stupid, man. You know, it's stupid, and you don't know how to you don't know how to become a man because a man deals with another man, 
manfully, man. You know, they agree. You know, they you know they disagree. Men gonna disagree, man. But then they get on a on a solid playing field where they get on on a, on a, to a state where they can agree. They get on a, on the same page with each other, man. They don't go pounding and, and hooping and howling and you know wanting to, wanting to be about them, man. And uh, getting a temper tantrum and shit, man. You know that's that's child's play, man. The Lord, the Lord has plenty of scriptures where He 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 asks us to uh, put on our loins and be manfully, man. Hurt uh -huh. down like a man. The Lord tell you how He deal with men. So when you deal with men, you gotta be you gotta be manfully, man. All right, go ahead. Up. You gotta have integrity. Yeah. Verse twelve. I got a precept for you too, though. All right. Let me see. For now we see through a glass darkly. But then face to face, now I know in part, but then shall I know even as also I am known. And now abideth faith, hope, charity, these three, but the greatest of these is charity. Yeah, the greatest of all of them, the greatest thing out of faith, hope, and the faith, hope, faith and hope is charity, man. All right? Yeah, man. Loving the brother, that's a, which, which the Lord tell you, that's, that's one of the greatest commandments, man, to love the brother. <coughs> love your, your acumen, man. All right? Y'all brothers got anything? Samaki had one. Samaki yeah, had one. I got one behind. Yeah, I got two more. All right. I got well. uh, John. It's John 13 and 34. A new commandment I give unto you that ye love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. 35, I know that you are my disciples, if you have love one to another. Yeah, man. And there it is. Yeah. You got to have love in this thing, man. Yeah, that love is it's not a, a, a bubbly, bubbly, googly feeling that you get in the middle of your chest, man. <laughs> Commandments, man. You keep the commandments towards the, uh, your acumen, man. All right? Now, that's an easy thing to do, man. It's where it should be. You know, we've seen guys that struggled with that for years, man. Years, man. I'm talking about with, a, with an S on the end. <laughs> Go ahead, huh? Colin, because if you were truly showing love by uh, dealing with your brother through these law, statutes, and commandments, you would uh you wouldn't be in in any bad situation that you're currently in. You wouldn't be screwing over your brother or getting your brother caught up in some very uh serious situations. You wouldn't be dealing with another brother's woman or cheating a brother out of his money or food. Yeah, man. Yeah, you won't be saying deal with it, man. After you can roll the brother, man. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Damn. This uh. Proverbs 18 and 19. I'm going to get two right here. It says, A brother offended is harder to be one than a strong city. And their contentions are like the balls of a castle. Hey, once you really cross a brother to the point to where you, you break his heart, it's the same as that precept y'all brought out earlier. Where uh, dealing where like adultery makes a man go angry, like just full of rage. Yeah, man. And can't be satisfied until until he gets that recompense from you. And especially knowingly know you offended a brother and still don't have the integrity to even give an apology out, man. You know, like it's just you know, Jake, Jay, listen, Jake. Jake don't understand what's brotherly love, man. Jake brotherly love is if your brother need five dollars and you was there at the time of the need when he need five dollars, man. Jake thank you that's love for your brother, man. All right, Jake don't have the fucking understanding, man. The ultimate love. All right, that greater that greatest love. All right, Jake think because he could throw a brother 20 here and there, man. That he that that brother love you, man. You know, that ain't the only way to display love, man. Which love is the fulfilling of the law, which means you're there in that time of need for all things, for the helping with the doctrine, to keep and pick him up when he fall, all right, and etc. All right, it's a laundry list. 
okay? Because if you cover those first two laws, which is love the law at first and foremost, all right, and then your brother secondly, it says you you cover, you pretty much cover all the laws, man. All right? It yeah. says uh, Proverbs 18 and 24, a man that had a friends must shoot himself friendly. He must show himself friendly, all right? And we know our friends and the truth is brothers, all right? It says, and there is a friend that stick it closer than a brother, all right? Because there are brothers or people in the world as a family member who are not, can't be compared to a friend, which is your neighbor, which is a man of the Lord, man. So when you have a friend, you got to show yourself friendly. As you don't want to be offended, don't offend the, don't offend a brother, man. As you want to be loved, love likewise, man. All right? So that's what it is, man. You got friends, show yourself friendly, man. All right? By being godly yeah, and having godly sorrow towards your brother, man. I got it. Got it. Right. You might give me James 2 and 8 real fast. I'll go, go, let me see. I ain't got the blue letter open. I got, I got one once you're done, huh? Yeah, I got one too. But I got the James for you. Yeah, go. Let me see. Let me see. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, Say James 2 and 8, right? You said James 2 and 8 or Daniel? James, James, James. James. Okay. Yeah, James 2 and 8. Yeah, no, yeah, get that. No, this James 2 and 8. If ye fulfill the royal law, According to the scripture, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, you do well. Yeah, man. And the brother went into that because you if you want to be respected, you're gonna give respect. You know, you're gonna love a brother as you love yourself. You don't disrespect yourself, man. All yeah. right. You don't you don't you don't come, you don't you don't go out the house any kind of fucking way. You, you know, you have a respect for yourself. You brush your teeth, you wash your ass, all right, you put on decent, decent clothes, you put your pants up, you have a respect for yourself. So the same respect you should have for yourself, all right. The same respect that you uh govern yourself within this in this body with, you should govern yourself with the brothers, man. The men that's on the, on the left and right of you, man. You know, it should be no disrespect zone, man. You just you just go all, you know, go all lose your fucking mind, man. You know, hey, go look with your precepts, all right. Uh, Galatians. Galatians 14 says for brethren been put on liberty not you thank you your computer chopping up real bad can, can you hear me go ahead uh Galatians 5 and 13 for brother ye have been liberty only who's not liberty for an nation to the flesh by love for another for, for all the law is fulfilled Hold in on. one hey, somebody, I read it for him. somebody get that phone because it's, it's um, bad, bro. this is Galatians 5 and 13 for brethren ye have been called unto liberty only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh but by love serve one another yeah, man, you gotta get in. You gotta get in the mindset of serving one another, man. Especially in these times, man. All right, go around, make sure, brother, must make sure, like right now, man. If you got the weakest guy in the camp, not for his weak and strength, but the, you know, for the brother uh, abilities and shit, you should be uh, serving the brother, man. Make sure the man have, you know, what they what we call canned goods. If he make sure he good, man. Hey, brother, you all right? You you good over there, huh? You don't need anything, man. All right, you got you got men out there that is not even into serving. He don't want to be served, man. They want to sit sit in the chief places. They want to be the you know the king tucks, man. All right, and shit is crazy, man. That them same that same shit that you into it wouldn't display to you, man. The other apostles don't don't come off like that. And I, like I said, I didn't met the men. You know, I ain't haven't had to, I talk to the other to hard. A bunch of times I never had a chance to meet him, but I have met Elder Gabon and Ramla. You know, and them men, them men don't even, even from afar, them men don't come off like that, man. All right? Even when you meet them in the flesh, they don't come off like that. All right? 
The men are humble to get down to your level. They actually serve you, man. All right? They actually serve you. They, you know, they deal with questions. You might have to, you know, they shoot the shit with you, man. They get on your level. They even cook for you, man. All right? <clears throat> Go ahead, Art. Brief one. Kind, kind, kind. This is four, uh, Galatians 5 and 14. For all the law is fulfilled in one word, even in this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Yeah, man. It should be, like I said, the broad law, it should be top, one of the top things you should be doing, man. All right? Loving your neighbor, loving the Akim as yourself, man. You know, never respect. You no know, mercy, diligence, man. You know, uh, integrity, man. Equity. You name it, man. Those these are things that should be displayed. It, this ain't a hard thing because I think I think Paul Paul had said it one time. Uh, oh man, it was it was them in Macedonia, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Let me find it. Oh man. He, all right, yeah. This is I'm gonna read it real fast. This is First Thessalonians four and nine. It says, "But as touching burden, as touching burden, love." It's the point. He said, ye need not that I write unto you. I Meaning you should know this already, man. That shouldn't have to be telling you none of this, man. For ye yourselves are taught of the most high to love one another. Let me read that again. But as touching brotherly love, ye need not that I write unto you, man. You already know this already, man. Well, why should I have to go into brotherly love, man, when it's, it's, a, it's a natural known fact the Lord say, that we uh what, what need to be done, man. The scriptures give examples of um, what need to be done, man. All right, how things should be uh governed amongst us, man. It's a no-brainer, man. I got one. All right. How many how many brothers have something? Well, I got. I'm good. Yeah, I'm out. Well, go ahead. I'm going to end it in a little bit. Uh, this is uh, 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 8. Finally, be ye all of one mind, having compassion one of another, love as brethren. Be pitiful, be courteous, not rendering evil for evil or railing for railing, but contrarywise blessing, knowing that ye are there, there unto called, that ye should inherit a blessing. So being brotherly leads to you inheriting a blessing, man, which is the kingdom. You can't be, you can't make it to the kingdom of heaven without being brotherly. That's just impossible. The kingdom of heaven is a brotherhood. That's what it is. This, the kingdom is literally a brotherhood. It's the 144,000 in Yahushai. So if you can't be a brother, you can't, you, you're not fit for the kingdom, man. Not at all, man. You're playing yourself, man. You, you're playing yourself out of, of a blessing and salvation, man. <clears throat> you know? Hey, when you make the, like you said, when you be on brotherly, man, you make the road. We already in straits on the road to the kingdom. You make it just that much more difficult, man. You you add more afflictions to our walk, man. And your you own see? walk. You be, right. You be, and your own walk, you become a burden in the way, a burden in the path, man. All mm -hmm. right? Yeah, every brother, like you said, if every brother carrying... Uh, hundred pounds, man. You just you just added more fifty more pounds to everybody, man. And For real, two hundred to your fucking self, man. All right, now that that same walk is gonna be more rugged, more grueling, grueling, and more longer, man. You know, it's just ridiculous, man. And, and, and the thing that the bad part about it, Jake don't see no wrong. Jake don't see the wrong in his error. All right, Jake don't think there's nothing wrong, man. The grudge and have a have a problem. And not be brotherly, man. Not not check up on check up on the men they're in the in the camp with in the same state with. All right, in in in, in the same, you've been in the same room with certain men in, in within GMS. It's, it's, it's not a hard thing to check up on those men, all right? You might be the main, you might be the, the, the defining factor in, in boosting a brother's faith, man. A brother might be going through some shit. His mother might have died. You know, he might have he might have gone through some shit. I wish the Lord does that on purpose sometimes. The Lord put the Lord helps to, you know, you'll think about a brother and sometimes the brother call, like instantly call. All right, you might be going through some shit and the brother is a, is a boost to you, man. 
But think about that, man. Think about that, man. Let that shit marinate, man. You know? It is what it is. Y'all got anything else, man? No. That's like walking in the mud and you steady praying for rain. <laughs> it's like we already walking in the mud and you steady praying for rain. Like, what are you doing, man? <laughs> right. All right. What are you doing? You making the path or the, the heavenly way or the walk what? Rough and tough, the terrain, man. You create more um, stumbling blocks than our terrain, man. Because we already on a, uh, what you call it, an obstacle course. It's the other one, that real difficult one. Gauntlet or a marathon? Okay. Now, as a course, it's, it's the course when you got to jump over the tire, jump over the wall, swim in the water. Yeah, all right? Yeah. Oh, a gauntlet? All right, yeah. We already got to do all that, man. On top of it, you you know, you just creating, you know, you just creating the burden of being baggage, man. All right? Whenever man have to walk. Yeah, dead weight, man. Yeah, dead weight. Dead weight, man. We don't want to be dead weight. And it's true, man, because this, this truth and everything about this truth is lively, man. All right? Everything is about life. You know, like that, that, that story they put out there about the Lord was born on December 25th. The Lord ain't about uh being born in the winter time. You know, the winter time represents is kind of like represent death because everything dies and withers away. The Lord was born in the springtime, he represents life lively, man. All right, and that's what we're about, man. All right, so with that, <clears throat> we didn't went we didn't went about two hours, man. So with that, we're gonna give all praises and glory and infinite honors to Yahweh. Yeah, well. GMS. Once again, peace and blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect, man. And blah blah blah, man. You brothers out there, you sisters out there, man. You study pray to the most high that he brings a speedy riddance to this place, man. All right. And much love to you brothers on the comment board, man. You brothers out there that are the of the sincere, man. All right. The Lord, like I say, as we as we approach that 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 day, man, let the Lord be with you, man. All right, and shalom, and shalom. Come on, man. <laughs>